Welcome to day 42 is reading. For day 42, we have Joshua chapter 19 to chapter 23. Now, am I lazy? I don't know. But yesterday, I was supposed to record two videos, but I didn't. So today, I'm recording four videos as a punishment. <laughs> I'm recording four videos today, but I don't think I'll be able to post them today because there's no internet connection. But I'm going to read them. I'm going to record them. I'm going to record these videos and keep them somewhere. So when internet connection, when the connection comes back, I'm going to post them. If you have a Bible, take it and just read. Joshua chapter 19. The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families, and their inheritance was, was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. Watch the other videos if you want for this continuation to make sense to you. You'll find them on my channel and you know, in a playlist called Bible Challenge. Read them out. Listen to them. May you be blessed. And their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. They had in their inheritance Bathsheba, Molada, Bathsheba, which is Sheba, Molada, Azar, Shua, Bala, Ezem, Eltolad, Bethel, Orma, Ziklag, Bet Markabot, Azar, Sush, Azar Susa, Beth Lebaut, and Sharuem, 13 cities and their villages, Ain, Rimon, Ita, and Ashan, 4 cities and their villages, and all the vi villages that were all around these cities as far as Balat Beth, Rama of the south. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. The inheritance of the children of Simeon was included in the share of the children of Judah, for the share of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore, the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of that people. The third lot came out for the children of Zebulon, according to their families, and the border of their inheritance was as far as Sarid. Their border went toward the west and to Marala, went to Dabazashet, and extended along the brook that is east of Jokneam. Then from Sarid, it went eastward toward the sunrise along the border of Chislot, of Chislot Tabor, and went out toward Daberat, bypassing Jaffia. And from there, it passed along on the east of Gath, Epha, toward Eth Chazim, and extended to Rimon, which borders on near. Then the border went around it on the north side of Anaton. And it ended in the valley of Jer of Jifta El, included with Kata, included with Katat, Nahala, all these names, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This was the this was the inheritance of the children of Zebulon, according to their families. These cities with their villages. The fourth lot came out to Issachar for the family of Issachar. For the children of Issachar, according to their families, and their territory went to Jezreel and included Sheslot, Shunem, Avram, Shion, Anarat, Rabbit, Ki, Rabbit, Kishion, Abes, Remeth, and Ganim, and Adam, and Beth, Pazes, and the border reached to Tabor, Shazima, and Beth, Shemesh. Their borders ended at the Jordan, 16 cities with their villages. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their families, the children, the, the cities, and their villages. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families, and their territory included Elka, Ali, Bethen, Akshav, Alamelech, Alam Amad, and Mishal. It reached to Mount Carmel westward along the brook Shior Libnat. It turned toward the sunrise to Beth Dagon, and it reached to Zebulon and to the valley of Jifta El, then northward beyond Beth Emek and Niel, bypassing Kabul, which was on the left, including Hebron, Rehob, Ammon, and Cana, as far as Greater Sidon. And the border turned to Ramah and to the fortified city of Tar. Then the border turned to Ozar and ended at the sea by the region of Akshib. Also, Uma, Avek, and Rehob were included. 22 cities with their villages. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families. These cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out to the children of Naphtali.
for the children of Naphtali according to their families, and their border began at Elef, enclosing the territory from the terebinth tree in Zanim, in Zananim, Adamin, Adaminekep, and Jabnil, as far as Lakum. It ended at Jordan from Elef. The border extended to westward to Asnot Tabor and went out from there toward Ukok. It adjoined Zebulon on the south side and Asher on the west side and ended at Judah by the Jordan toward the sunrise. And the fortified cities are Zidim, Zer, Amas, Rakat, Chineret, Adama, Rama, Azor, Kedesh, Edroy, and Azor, Iron, Migdal El, Orem. Beth Anath and Beth Shemesh, 19 cities with their villages. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali according to their families, the cities, and their villages. The seventh lot, oh, the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of, Nan, of Dan according to their families, and the territory of their inheritance was Zura, Eshtal, Il Shemesh, Shalabin, Aijalon, Jetla, Elon, Timna, Ikron, Elteke. El Gibeton, Balat, Jeod, Beneberak, Gazrimon, Merjakon, and Rakon, with the region near Joppa, and the border of the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem and took. And the border of the children of Dan went beyond this, because the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem, against Leshem and took it, and they struck it with the edge of the sword took possession of it and dwelt in it. They, they called Leshem Dan, after the name of Dan, their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing the land as an inheritance to, according to their borders, the children of Israel gave an inheritance among them, among them to Joshua, the son of Nun. According to the word of the Lord, they gave him the city which he asked for, Timnath Sarah, in the mountain of Ephraim, and he built the city, and dwelt in it. These were the inheritance which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel divided as an inheritance by Lot in Shiloh before the Lord, as the door of the tabernacle, at the door of the tabernacle of the meeting. So they made an end of dividing the country. Chapter 20. The the Lord also spoke to Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint for yourselves cities of refuge, of which I spoke to you through Moses, that the slayer who kills a person accidentally or, or unintentionally may flee there, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he flees to one of these cities, and stands at the, cent at the entrance of the gate of the city, and declares his case in the hearing of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city as one of them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. Then if the avenger of blood pursues him, they shall not deliver the slayer into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unintentionally, but did not hate him beforehand. And he shall dwell in that city until he stands before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the one who is high priest in those days. Then the slayer may return and come to his own city and his own house, to the city from which he fled. So they appointed Kedesh in Galilee, in the mountain ends of Naphtali, Shechem in the mountains of Ephraim, and Kijat Abba, which is Hebron, in the mountains of Judah. On the other side of the Jordan, by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness on the plain from the tribe of Reuben, Ram Ramoth in Gilead from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel and for the stranger who dwelt among them, that whoever killed a person accidentally may flee there and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood until he stood before the congregation. Chapter 21. Then the heads of the fathers, then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came near to Eleazar the priest, to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers, and to the heads of the fathers' house of the tribe of the children of Israel. And they spoke to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded through Moses to give us cities to dwell in with their common lands for our livestock. So the children of Israel gave to the Levites from their inheritance. At the, at the commandments of the Lord, these cities and their common lands. Now the Lord came out for the families of the Kohathites and the children of Aaron, the priests, who were of the Levites, at thirteen cities by Lot from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Simeon, and from the tribe of Benjamin. The rest of the children of Kohath had ten cities by Lot from the family, from the families of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, and from the half tribe of Manasseh. And the children of Gershon 
at 13 cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. The children of Merari, according to their families, had 12 cities from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulon. And the children of Israel gave these cities with their common lands by lot to the Levite, as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses. So they gave from the tribe of the children of Judah and from the tribe of the children of Simeon these cities which are designed which are designated by name, which were of the children of which were for the children of Aaron, one of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, for the Lord was theirs first, and they gave them Kijat Abba. Abba was the father of Anak, which is Hebron, in the mountains of Judah. There's an annoying machine gun. In the mountains of Judah, with the common land surrounding it, but the fields of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb, the son of Jephne, and it as its possession. Thus to the children of Aaron, the priest, they gave Hebron with his common land, a city of refuge for the slayer, Libna with his common land, Jatel with its common land, Eshtemwa with its common land, Olon with his common land, Debre with his common land, Ain with its common land, Juta with his common land, Bechemes with his common land, nine cities from these from those two tribes, and from the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its common land, Geba with its common land, Anathoth with his common land, and Almon with his common land, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron, the priests were thirteen cities with their common lands, and the families of the children of Koath, the Levites, the rest of the children of Koath, even they even they had the cities of their lords from the tribe of Ephraim, for they gave them Shechem with its common land in the mountains of Ephraim, a city of refuge for the slayer, Gezer with its common land, Kibzai with its common land, and Beth Oron with its common land, four cities, and from the tribe of Dan, El Teke with its common land, Gibeton, Gibeton with its common land, Ajalon with its common land, and Gath Rimon with its common land, four cities, and from the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanak with its common land, and Gath Rimon with its common land, two cities, two cities, all the ten cities with their common lands were for the rest of the families of the children of Koath, all also to the children of Goshen of the families of the Levites, from the other half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan in Bashan with his common land, a city of ravage for the slayer, and Beshterah with its common land, two cities, and from the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with its common land, Daberat with his common land, Jamot with his common land, and Engamu with his common land, four cities, and from and from the tribe of Asher, Mil Ishal with his common land, Abdon with his common land, Elkat with his common land, and Rehob with his common land four cities, and from the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with his common land, a city of refuge for the slayer, Amos Dor with his common land, and Katan with his common land, three cities. All the families of the Geshonite, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their common lands. And to the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, from the tribe of Zebulon, Jokiam with its common land, Kata with its common land, Dimna with its common land, and Nahala with its common land, four cities, and from the tribe of Reuben, Bezar with his common land, Jazza with his common land, Kedemoth with his common land, and, Mev and Mephath with his common land, four cities, and from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilead with his common land, a city of refuge for the slayer, Manaim, Mahanai with his common land, Eshbon with his common land, and Jazza with his common land, four cities in all. So all the city for the children of Merari, according to their families, the rest of the families of the Levites were by their lot, twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty-eight cities with their common lands. Every one of these of these cities had its common land surrounding it. Those were all the cities. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land of which he had sworn to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it and dwelt in it. The Lord gave them rest all around, according to all that he had sworn to their fathers. And not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. Chapter 22. Then Joshua called the Rebenites, the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, and said to them, You have kept all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, and you have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. You have not left your brethren these days, these many days, up to this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord your God. 
And now the Lord your God has given rest to your brethren as he promised them. Now therefore return and go to your tent and to the land of your possession, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side of the Jordan. But take careful it to do the commandments and the law which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to keep his commandments, to hold fast to him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away, and they went to their tents. Now to have the tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given a possession in Bashan, but to the other half of it, Joshua gave a possession among their brethren on this side of the Jordan, westward. And indeed, when Joshua sent them away to their tents, he blessed them. And spoke to them, saying, Return with much riches to your tent, with very much livestock, with silver, with gold, with bronze, with iron, and with and with very much clothing. Divide the spoils, divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. So the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the, and have the tribe of Manasseh returned and departed from the children of Israel at Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go to the country of Gilead. To the land of their possession which they had obtained according to the word of the lord by the hand of moses and when they came to the region of of the jordan which is in the land of canaan the children of Reuben, the children of gad and of the tribe of manasseh built an altar there by the jordan a great impressive altar now the lord now the children of israel heard someone say behold the children of Reuben, the children of gad and of the tribe of manasseh have built an altar on the frontier of the land of canaan in the region of the jordan on the children of on the children of Israel's side. And when the children of Israel heard of it, the whole congregation of Israel gathered, the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered together at Shiloh to go to war against them. Then the children of Israel sent Phineas, the son of Eliasa, the priest, to the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad, and to have the tribe of Manasseh, into the land of Gilead, and with him ten rulers, one ruler each from the out from the chief house of every tribe of Israel. And each one was the head of the house of, the, of his father among the divisions of Israel. Then they came to the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad, and to have the tribe of Manasseh, to the land of Gilead. And they spoke with them, saying, Thus is the whole congregation of the Lord. What treasury, what treasury is this that you have committed against the God of Israel, to turn away this day from following the Lord, and that you have built for yourselves an altar, that you might rebel, that you might rebel this day against the Lord? Is the iniquity of Pearl not enough for us, from which we are not cleansed till this day. Although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord, but that you must turn away this day from following the Lord, and shall be, if you rebel against if you rebel today against the Lord, that tomorrow you will be angry with the whole congregation of Israel. Nevertheless, if the land of your possession is unclean, then cross over to the land of the possession of the Lord, where the Lord's tabernacle stands. And take possession among us, but do not rebel against the Lord, nor rebel against us by building yourselves an altar besides the altar of the Lord our God. Did not Achan, the son of Zerah, commit a trespass in the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel, and that and that man did not perish alone in his iniquity, in his iniquity. Then the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and of the tribe of Manasseh answered and said to the heads of the of the divisions of Israel. The Lord God of gods, the Lord God of gods, he knows, and let Israel itself know. If it is in rebellion, or if it is in treasury against the Lord, do not save us this day. If we have built ourselves and not at a turn from following the Lord, or if it is to offer on its burnt offering or great offering, or grain offerings, or if it is to offer peace offering on it, let the Lord himself require an account. But in fact, we have done it for fear, for a reason, saying, In time to come, the descendants may speak. So I descend and saying, What have you to do with the Lord God of Israel? For the Lord has made the Jordan a border between you and us. You children of Reuben and children of God, you have no part in the Lord. So your descendants will make our descendants cease. So your descendants will make our descendants cease bearing the Lord. Therefore we said, Let us now prepare to build ourselves an altar, not for burnt offering, not for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness between you and us and our generation after us. That we may perform the service of the Lord before Him with our burnt offerings, with our sacrifices, and with our peace offerings, that your descendants may not say to our descendants in time to come, You have no part in the Lord. Therefore, we said that it will be when they say this to our to us or to our generations in time to come, that we may say, Here is the replica of the altar of the Lord which our fathers made. 
though not for bond offerings, not for sacrifices, but it is a witness between you and us. Far be it from us that we should rebel against the Lord and turn from following the Lord this day. <coughs> to build an altar for bond offering, for grain offering, is all for sacrifices, besides the altar of the Lord our God, which is before his tabernacle. Now when Phineas the priest and the rulers of the congregation, the heads of Israel, the heads of the divisions of Israel who were with him, heard the word that the children of Reuben, the children of God, and the children of Manasseh spoke, it pleased them. Then Phineas, the son of Elias, the priest, said to the children of Reuben, the children of God, and the children of Manasseh, This day we perceive that the Lord is among us, because you have not committed this treachery against the Lord. Now you have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Lord. And Phineas, the son of Elias, the priest, and the rulers, returned from the children of Reuben, and the children of God, from the land of Gilead. To the land of Canaan, to the children of Israel, and brought back word to them. So the thing pleased the children of Israel, and the children of Israel blessed God. They said, they spoke no more of going against them in battle to destroy the land where the children of Reuben and God built. The children of Reuben and the children of God called the other witness, for it is a witness between us that the Lord is God. Chapter 23, the last chapter for this reading. Now it came to pass. A long time after the Lord had given rest to Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua was old, advanced in age, and Joshua called for all Israel, for, the, for their elders, for their heads, for their judges, and for their officers, and said to them, I am old, advanced in age. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he who has fought for you. See, I have divided to you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes from, from the Jordan with, with all the nations that I have cut off as far as the great sea westward. And the Lord your God will spell them from before you and drive them out of your sight so you shall possess their land as the Lord your God promised you. Therefore, be very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses. Let you turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left. Unless you go among these nations, these would remain among you. You shall not make mention of the name of their gods, nor, nor cause anyone to swear by them. You shall not serve them, nor bow down to them, but you shall hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have done to this day. For the Lord has driven out from before you great and strong nations, but as for you, no one has been able to stand against you to this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your God is he who fights for you, as he promised you. Therefore take careful heed to yourselves that you love the Lord your God, or else if indeed you do go back and cling to the remnants of these nations, these that remain among you, and you make marriages with them, and go into them and they, and they to you. Know for certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps to you, and scourges on your sides, and thorns in your eyes until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and you and you know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. All have come to pass for you. No one, not one word of them has failed. Therefore it shall come to pass that as all the good things have come upon you, which the Lord your God promised you, so the Lord will bring upon you all harmful things once he has destroyed you from this good land which the Lord your God has given you, when you have trans transgressed the covenants of the Lord your God which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods and bowed down to them. Then the anger of the Lord will burn against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land which he has given you. The end of today's reading. Chapter 23. Joshua chapter. Until chapter 23. Up next, day 43, which will be from Joshua chapter 24, verse 24 to Judges chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, and chapter 4. Joshua chapter 21 to no, Joshua chapter 24 to Judges. Chapter 4. That's what we are reading next. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.